Hello and welcome everybody to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman. Remember to follow us on all our social networks and to catch us every day by logging onto our website, mexiconewsnetwork.com, for relevant stories and news. Let's start with today's show. The peso rallied last Friday to a nearly four-month high after the new U.S. Commerce Secretary offered a softer tone on trade talks and as his Mexican counterpart echoed the sentiment that the two sides could reach a mutually beneficial trade deal. Already the best performing major currency in recent weeks, the peso strengthened as much as 2.5% to 19.5 per dollar on Friday, its best since November the 9th, the day after Donald Trump's surprise presidential election win. According to an Excelsior exercise based on Bloomberg data, the peso has gained 10.3% since Trump's arrival in the White House and has outperformed the currencies of six developed countries and another 11 emerging markets economies. Baseline analysis director Gabriela Silla noted that Trump's ads are considered rhetoric, as evidenced by the fact that it doesn't speak negatively of the NAFTA agreement as it did with the Trans-Pacific Association Agreement. With this, we can read between the lines that the United States is interested in NAFTA because 16% of its exports go to Mexico, said Silla. Moving on, the owner of Mexico's largest bank will invest $1.5 billion over the next five years on software and intelligence to improve efficiency and bring it closer to customers. The executive chairman of Spanish financial group BBVA announced the investment and confirmed at the same time the company's confidence in Mexico. We are long-term investors and I hope we get more opportunities to continue to invest, said Francisco Gonzalez during a visit to Mexico City. Gonzalez said that he has an enormous confidence in Mexico, in BBVA Bancomer, in his team and the Mexican business community. Gonzalez recognized that Mexico has challenges as a result of political change in the United States, but observed that Mexico is strong enough to withstand it. He said that Mexico is a vibrant country with great strengths. Its 120 million people are very young and fully motivated to do great things. Mexico is stronger than most people think, thanks to its population, its close relationship with the US, the dynamics of its industries, and its business community. In other headlines, FEMSA, the company that operates Mexico's largest convenience store chain, OXO, will invest $1.3 billion this year, despite economic uncertainty. Fomento Económico Mexicano, known as FEMSA, intends to proceed with caution, but expects to continue investing in new gas stations and stores, and predicts double-digit growth in all its divisions. Despite external factors such as the renegotiation of NAFTA and exchange rate volatility, corporate director Eduardo Padilla said FEMSA will continue with its strategy of opening 50 new OXO gas station convenience stores a year. About $770 million of this year's capital expenditures will be the same as last year, going into Coca-Cola FEMSA, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. Chief Executive Officer Carlos Salazar Lomelin said FEMSA continues to see a favorable consumer environment in spite of external dynamics, such as the likelihood of higher inflation. And finally, let's turn to the markets. The Mexican peso decreased 0.63% to 19.49 from 19.61 in the previous trading session. IPC Mexico increased 0.99% to 47,884 from 47,415 in the previous trading session. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+ and log on to mexiconewsnetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.